Hey guys, welcome to our channel and in today's video I will show you how to create a Google Analytics account and how to connect it with Google Analytics plugins for WordPress so you can start collecting data. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. So first of all, let's navigate to Google Analytics. You have all the links in this tutorial in the description box down below. And over here, click on Start Measuring. Now you will need to create an account. Because I'm only going to track one website, I will call it my new website. However, I recommend you to call it your business name. Keep the checkboxes as is and click on Next. Here, the property name, uh, you can create multiple properties under one account. So for example, if you have multiple websites, you can create a property for each website. Now, because again, we only have one website, which is called Pluginizer, Pluginizer.com. I'll just call it Pluginizer.com. Later on, if you would like to track more websites, you can always add more properties. Then click Save. Enter your business details, such as size, uh, what would you like to track, and then click on Continue. Here you will need to accept the terms of service and then you'll have access to your Google Analytics property. The property is ready, we just need to define the entity that we would like to track, whether it's an app or a website. And because it's a website, we'll click here on web. And here, once again, we will enter our uh, name, the website name and the website URL. So let's start with the URL first. We'll call it pluginizer.com because that's the URL. And over here, we'll call it pluginizer so it will match the URL, it will be easier to remember it that way. Click on create stream and once you did, your property and your entity is ready and you can start measuring uh, your website data. The plugins that I will show you in this tutorial can automatically connect it to your Google Analytics account. However, if you ending up deciding using a Google Analytics plugin that is not part of the list, you may need to manually connect between the plugin and the Google Analytics account. And if you do need to connect it manually, you will need to use your tracking code, which you can find here and here. Great. Once everything is set up, let's move on, explore some plugins and see how we can display our Google Analytics dashboard inside our WordPress admin screen. All right, so the first plugin that I would like to show you called Master Insights. So let's go to add a new plugin. And here we will search for Master Insights. We can see the first result on the left. We just need to install it and then activate it. Once activated, you'll be transferred to this page. Scroll to the bottom and click on Launch Wizard. Answer the questions they are asking about your business. It will help them modify the account and the dashboard better to your needs. And then click on Connect Master Insights. It will take you to your Gmail account. Just log in to the same account that is connected to Google Analytics. And over here, you'll need to scroll down and allow the plugin to access the account. Then click on Complete connection. It will finalize the authentication. And on this step, scroll to the bottom and click on save and continue. By default, the Google Analytics dashboard inside WordPress will only display basic data. However, if you want more detailed information, make sure to check the advanced reports and the e-commerce tracking. If you're running an e-commerce shop and click continue. Once finalized, on the last step, scroll all the way to the bottom and click on the skip link. Excellent. They will prepare the dashboard for you. And once they're done, you'll be able to access and view all your website data from inside your WordPress website. In order to do that, let's go to our dashboard and into insights. And this is your Google Analytics dashboard, but way easier to read and to understand and it will help you to take wiser decisions based on the data. Now, because it's a new website with a new tracking code, the data is empty. However, it will take about one or two weeks to get actionable data. 
when you will switch to the e-commerce tab, you will need to upgrade to the pro version in order to see the stats over there. Upgrading to the pro version from the official website will cost you a lot of money, minimum $99.5. However, you can get the exact same plugin from us for only $4.99. You have all the links in the description box down below. Alternatively, if you have our plugin manager installed on your WordPress website, just navigate into it and look for Monster Insight and you can have all the add-ons and all the plugins for Monster Insights as part of our unlimited uh, plan. Just click on install and then on activate. Another great Google Analytics dashboard for WordPress is the plugin Behive. So first of all, let's install and activate it. And once we did, we can access the Behive plugin from the bottom left corner, and then we'll go into the Accounts tab. Great, now we'll need to connect our Google Analytics with this plugin. We'll click on this button over here to set it up. It will take us once again to our Google account over here, we'll scroll down and click on the continue button and that will generate an authentication code for us. We'll need to copy it from here, go back to the plugins dashboard and paste it here and then click on authenticate. Then you will get this notification message with a feedback that the authentication was successful. You can now go to the dashboard of this plugin and here you'll see all the graphs regarding the data it collected. Now again, because it's a new website, you don't have any data, but it will take some time and you will have very valuable data. Now again, just like the other plugins, this also have a pro version. And if you'd like to get a pro version, you can do it from the official website or from us for only $4.99. Another great plugin to add Google Analytics dashboard into your WordPress website is with the plugin Analytify. So make sure to install it and then activate it on your WordPress website. And once you did, we can add our property to this plugin. So let's do it. Let's first navigate into Analytify and into the Settings tab. And we can connect to our Google Analytics property in two ways. First of all, let me, let me skip this message. And we can connect uh, by clicking on the green button to automatically connect or by entering our Google Analytics tracking ID. I told you about it at the beginning of this tutorial that you can also connect manually. But obviously the automatic without a way easier. So I will click on this green button to connect. And here I will allow to Analytify grab my data from Google Analytics. And once I did, it will take me to the profiles tab of this plugin. And here I will need to uh, choose the property that I created earlier. So I will choose it here from the drop down menu. Again, we only have one property, so uh, we can choose it. And once I saved the changes, I can move on to the dashboard and I can see all the data that it picked up from my Google Analytics and the data that it will pick up uh, in the future. Now, just like the other two plugins that I showed you, the free version of this plugin showing basic data. For more advanced data, you'll need to get the pro version of the plugin that will cost you from the official website $59. Alternatively, you can get it from us uh, by going to Plugins for WP and get all the plugins and the add-ons for this plugin for only $4.99. Okay, so I showed you three of the most popular Google Analytics plugins for WordPress, but there is not a big difference between them. So how can you choose the right Google Analytics plugin? So it's pretty much based on you because they are so similar one to another. It's better to focus on what's the easiest way for you to read the data, how often they get updated, and whether or not they include e-commerce reports if you're running a store. The bottom line is that my recommendation to you is to download the free version of each of them, see which one you like the most, and then based on that decide which pro version to get all right guys so thank you very much for watching this video make sure to read the blog post because we have the full list of the plugins over there please like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel because there are more great videos on the way i will see you all in the next video